this. All right, what do we got here? TF2 RC four-wheel drive trail finder two. I was helping my buddy out with this truck and the unfortunate thing is now he had to give this baby up. So I couldn't just let this baby go. So I got it from my buddy. Without further ado, let's check out what's under the hood. Let's check out this TF2. Let's see what we got here. This I've installed for him. It's a Holmes Hobbies brushed motor. It's a Torque Master motor and we've got it on here and under the hood in here I've installed I was the one who also installed this for him this is a solar d772 servo so pretty high torque servo for cheap I will put links in the description below over here he's put in uh, looks like his uh, custom-made battery plate that he's put on here so it doesn't get tangled up and up over here we've got another servo for the two-speed transmission which is underneath this plate right here so and powering this Holmes Hobbies Torque Master motor we've got an FXR yes right there got some gunk on here it looks like it's had some some protective stuff on there so I might have to clean that up I hope this thing's not fried I from what I know, this thing should still be functioning because last time I tested this out, it was still functioning good. So I'm gonna have to test this out and check out what we got. So um, I may have to get a new, if this ESC is still working good, I'm gonna have to maybe get a new case for it since half of this case is semi-melted. I'm gonna have to clean up these wires and uh, after I get that all sorted out and get this baby, this rig running, I'm gonna waterproof this, waterproof the switch, so that way this guy can get dunked in water. Um, so, what else have we got? Um, factory suspension still has the stock shock hoop, so I might have to upgrade that for better suspension travel. However, let's check out underneath, look what we got. So, stock axles, but, um, We've got the four link here, uh, two links in the bottom, and we've got a chassis mounted servo, and we've got this panard bar here. So, should get pretty good travel. Let's see how the flex is, not bad. Um, it's got some flex on here, so, here we go. And in the back, it still retains the factory uh, leaf springs back here so feels a little stiff to my liking so I might have to soften these up maybe make sure that uh, there's no more springs inside these shocks and just uh, reseal it and fill it with oil and maybe even remove some of the springs although my other TF2 I've still got uh, I believe at least two at least two leaves back there so I'll have to play with that suspension and see what it's like maybe even make this as the dedicated chassis for the blazer and put the original my red tf2 back into play we'll see many projects on the way up here in the driver's side my buddy's put in a driver in there so got some scale details however i'm still gonna need this is gonna be a work in progress uh, we're missing some headlight headlights here so missing some headlights, the signal lights missing, We've got the chrome bumpers. Maybe I might have to black that out, we'll see. I'll probably keep the color, I like the color blue on this. Uh, currently I don't believe I have any blue body RCs, so maybe keep that. And back here on the bed of this pickup truck, he's put in sort of like a tonneau cover, which we have put in some magnets. This is a piece of styrene that we made, and we put some of this cover. And for a little added bonus tip, this tunnel cover, what can anybody guess what we made this out of? We used those black shopping bags, kind of a clothy type materials, like black grocery bags. Cut that up and glued it underneath. So far, that's like what we have here, folks. Um, again, this TF2. As always, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button down here on that icon and uh thanks for watching thanks for keeping up on the channel and please uh share the channel we'd like to grow this channel have a good night